What's up, people? I'm posting this video for a fellow viewer who has asked me some questions about do-it-yourself turbines. Now, I've come across uh, several different ways of doing this over the years, and I shared with him the old die grinder idea, which is where you basically just repurpose an old die grinder, and you can make a nice little steam engine out of these things like that. He was interested in generating some electricity in an emergency scenario with just burning wood. One of the good things about the die grinder route is that you can usually connect a generator directly up to the collet or um, whatever chuck you can get on one of these things and they have enough power to run a generator. They're fairly powerful if you get enough steam into them. I haven't ran one long enough to tell you anything about durability, but um, I do have another option for you. If you have a uh, low temperature steam and you saturate it with some condensation a little bit, these little things right here are actually awesome turbines. These come out of uh, vacuum cleaners. This is the Dirt Devil version, and this is the um, wind tunnel technology version. Let me get some safety glasses going here, because this thing screams. Uh, there is so much torque on this thing that I can't freaking believe it. Um, I'm interested in building a turbine myself out of this thing, actually. The amount of power that these things have is incredible. It's scary. This would make a monster of a little engine. If you were to imagine having an annular array of steam jets hitting this little bad boy. Probably produce too much power for this little belt system to, uh, to deal with. But nonetheless, this would be an easily repurposable uh, high efficiency turbine. These things are incredibly efficient designs. The shape of this inner cup shoots the air back out at almost 180 degrees. I'm sorry. Which is the most efficient configuration that you can get on a turbine. That is a very well designed turbine. I don't know if you can see the um, shallow U shape of that or not. This one right here is very well made. This one here on the other hand, this is the Dirt Devil, not so well at all. You see how the air doesn't have the opportunity to give you that um, deflection. It's got this dumb staggered situation here. Maybe that doesn't matter. I'm inclined to believe it simply got assembled wrong in the factory that they were supposed to flush that off like this one. But that's not what happened. So I just wanted to share that with you guys because I'm, and anyone else who's interested in uh, looking for a really good DIY turbines because uh, these things are incredible. And um, I know it sounds disgusting, but you often see them in the trash. That's kind of where I got this nasty sucker here. But, um, you know, with a good run through the dishwasher by itself, you could easily sterilize something like that to uh, uncringe worthiness. This one here is uh, brand new. It was uh, never used. So I scored. Definitely uh, got lucky on that. And I think we might be trying to build some kind of engine out of this thing. That is just too awesome of a little motor right there. I tried to hold this thing back with my hand. It burns your fingers. Once it gets a little RPMs, the power is so much that um, you can't stop it with your finger without burning your thumb. Pretty incredible.